This week in the state of New York, ever upward. Division doesn't work in New York. Anger doesn't work in New York. Discrimination doesn't work in New York. Progressive policies, love, and commonality works in New York, and this nation needs to hear that message. Governor Cuomo canvassed New York this week, making six regional state of the state speeches in three days and putting forth 149 initiatives. The series of policies and programs are aimed at addressing the economic anxieties of New York's working and middle classes and committing to continue the fight for our state's progressive values. A few takeaways include advancing ethics and good government reforms, modernizing the state's voting system, and protecting the rights and freedoms of immigrants. We believe in immigration. We believe in tolerance. We believe in fostering a spirit of community. The proposals also address protecting the environment and combating climate change, upgrading aging infrastructure to protect drinking water, and ending safety threats to more than 20 million people by closing the Indian Point nuclear power plant by 2021. The governor's plan implements state procurement laws to mandate the preference of American products, continues to revitalize airports across the state, completes the 750-mile Empire State Trail to boost tourism, and enables access to ride-sharing throughout the state. Tell your legislators, don't come home unless you come home in an Uber or a Lyft also included are programs to protect New Yorkers from soaring prescription drug prices, take further steps to fight the heroin and opioid epidemic, and ensure equal justice by implementing criminal justice reforms. All of the initiatives build upon proposals announced last week, including making SUNY and CUNY schools tuition-free for New York's middle-class families, transforming JFK International Airport for the 21st century, and making childcare more affordable with an enhanced middle-class child care tax credit. These are stormy times and they're times of instability, but New York will always be New York. And New York is a place of equal rights and equal opportunity, regardless of who you are or regardless of where you come from. Until next week, that's the state of New York.